second video of Dhanush Creations. Yeah. So guys, in this video, I'm gonna discuss about some science topics. So we are gonna hop on to the topic of physics. And our favorite chapter is today, sound. So you can tell that you have heard of a sound, you have heard of sound of instruments and some surrounding sounds. But there are also other types of sound which you have to get to know. So if you want that information, please subscribe my channel, like my video, put on the bell button and comment below. So I get, get to know if you want some gaming videos or science videos. And put on the bell button so you can get my latest notification from the YouTube if I upload it. So let's hop on to the topic guys. Today our topic is sound. Wow, it's nice. So guys, you know that we are, talk, we are going to discuss about sound. But do you know the sound instruments handmade? Some are make unpleasant sound. Those are infra sounds. So today I made an experiment with two equally divided parallel papers like rectangles. To make a two papers like this, the scissors and some pay, uh, origami papers and you have to keep it one above the other and you have to join it like this equally and you have to stretch it tightly and you have to blow the hair with a great pressure in the middle like this so it's an unpleasant sound and it needs very great pressure so how this sound is coming is it some contact or is it some sound coming from my throat no and i made another topic and another experiment so it's a screecher. So first you have to take a rectangle like this and you have to fold it. You have to cut it with your scissors here. And it will get a pattern like this. And fold it like this for extra handle with the, for my hand. And leave a space like this and blow the hair in the middle. You will get an unpleasant sound. So how is it possible? Let us see. It's a nice sound, but it's very unpleasant. People get irritated by that. How is it made? Let's get to know. But this sound, are they made simply? No. They have some amplitude. They have some earth. Means this may be around 25 hertz. So what is hertz? What is it? Which SI unit is called hertz? Don't know. So this sound can't be going in a straight line like a bar graph it may be moving like this it may have some frequency so what is frequency we are all gonna discuss about what is different types of sound so stay still and please subscribe my channel so let's hop on to our topic so what's going on guys as i told you this is the topic and today i told you that we are going to discuss about different types of characteristics of sound and vibrations so there are three minimum characteristics of sound and vibrations those can be named as amplitude time period and frequency so the interesting facts in the sound was that when you play hide and seek the when the chickens play hide and seek means not as may dabba means not uh, making dabba but the different hide and seek in the game which is a one player will be blindfolded. One player will be making blindfolded mask and ca have to catch the remaining players. While catching the sound of the feet, they have to make a sound. He will ask for the first sound. They, make, they can clap or else they can make a sound of feet. So it helps the player to find the remaining players. So how is it possible? They can hear the sound. So the sound made by the foot or clap the frequency made by the one second will travel to the human's ear with the amplitude with the to and fro motion and he may find the person. So what is an amplitude? Amplitude, it can be maximum displacement of a vibrating body from its mean position. Cause the maximum displacement from a mean position in an oscillation. So if you take a rubber band and or a an, uh, thread string and if you turn it and once keep it uh, stretched, it will make it to and fro motion. You can't see it will be very fast. It will be like a 2D shape. It will make a to and fro motion. The motion from the rubber band in the S to R, the motion be 
in the middle is that amplitude the maximum displacement the how much ever the vibrating body makes a mean position from to end box row from its starting point to end point and to again to starting point is called as amp amplitude its SI unit is meter so rubber band or string can be measured in meter so it is SI unit is meter so it may make a shake a vibrating very fast shake in a period of second which is called as amplitude next we may have frequency so what is frequency the number of vibration in the vibrating body in one second is called vibe frequency so if we say or if we talk we get a vibration in our throat so that is called frequency so the number of vibration in a vibrating body so we are human which make a vibration or you say um like this it makes a vibration so when it makes vibration the frequency one second so one second how much vibration makes it's very tough to calculate one second so it may be some 25 hertz to some or some it may be calculated or measured in some uh, highly technology machines the what is frequency means the number of vibrations in a vibrating body made per one second is called as vibrating frequency so its si unit is hertz so as i told you hertz so how that make that so if this sound is made by an screecher and it may give a frequency in the form of hertz so it may give the frequency of hertz like a vibrating body may have 60 hertz means if a heart gives us 60 vibrations or 60 heartbeats in one minute or one second means one second it gives 60 vibrations approximately so our vibrating body makes 60 hertz vibrations so 60 hertz you may have heard about the this hertz in some music systems music systems varies from 2500 or it starts from 650 hertz to 1500 mega megahertz they may go to megahertz because the sound vibration is very more and the bass the bass speaker is very more sounded machine so it makes a large sound and large hertz so the screecher made sound which differs from 60 hertz in one second it makes 60 vibrations and another the vibration vibration used for frequency can be also referred as tuning fork which is a figure given on the board so tuning fork is a u-shaped piece as you can see given there and of metal because metal have the property of sonority so if bank another metal property it make a vibration which is used to keep at the ear of the oldest people and to get the knowledge if they are able to hear or not so in the ancient times they would use a tuning fork they would meet it beat it to the metal rod and uh, keep it near the old persons so they should get to know if the person is able to hear the vibration from the prongs so this is the way how doctors were calculating the uh, vibration and the status of the person's ear but now so many machines have came so many ear level machines have came so nothing matters so tuning fork is also able to produce certain fixed frequency sound so there's an another experiment which i'm going to show you next video if you take a unique tuning fork hit to another tuning fork and just place it near a metal metal dispenser the water in stored in the metal dispenser makes vibrations so how is it possible so the sonorous property travels to the metal dish and it sonors the water and the water vibrates so this is how it's find out frequency next we have time period so what is time period guys the time taken by the vibrating body to complete one vibration means one vibration i i told 60 vibrations in one second this come to complete one vibration there's a difference 60 vibrations one second one vibrations desired time so one vibration if 60 vibrations take one second one vibration will take how many milliseconds that is that is how you get it so one vibration may take around i don't know i can't calculate maybe approximately 3.2 milliseconds so it's a certain time it's a fraction of a millisecond so this is how you calculate the time period so if a heartbeat or 
the earthquake sound it measures seismograph so the earthquake sound made by one second is drawn in a seismograph so it's drawn with a vibration vibrations on the graph so how is it made they'll measure it so they'll set the seismograph at the one second so it will shake the earthquake from scale of one to ten and it will write the bug graph on the uh, paper about one second so one second if it makes 3.2 seconds if it makes one vibration so they may get to know if it's scale of 1 to 10 the earthquake may be like this uh, maybe it may be 2 or 3 or 7 so even in a drum and even in a trumpet if you make if you blow a trumpet you get a sound in that sound many vibration be, will be there because it's a music instrument so in that one vibration may be very less compared to the high pitched sound in high pitched tone if you bang a drum it makes a high pitched sound in one second and it makes every one vibration in one second but in trumpet it can it may take some 3.2 or 5.6 milliseconds to make one vibration because if you are saying you are saying um it makes vibration in our throats but how many milliseconds if it takes if one vibration is taken in our throat we don't know that is how we are going to find out time period so it is used some heart machines and some shock machines or some gra graphic ma uh, graphic uh, sorry, seismograph graphic bar graph machines to find out the time period for one vibration how many s amount of time it takes so guys i am ending the video here if you like it if you are not a subscriber of Dhanush Creations, please like my video, put on the bell button and comment below. So I can get to know if you want some more science videos or gaming videos. So and put on the bell button also if you want some latest notification from the channel of Dhanush Creations. So see you in the next video. Until there. Bye bye.